Alzheimer's disease is the seventh leading cause of death in the United States with no known cure. But the FDA recently approved the second ever treatment for the disease intended to tackle the root of the condition and decline cognitive results. There are six and a half million Americans, including 76,000 Coloradans, who are living with Alzheimer's disease right now. And uh, the clock is ticking for them. Which is why the FDA accelerated approval for lecanemab. A new drug helped to decelerate the process of this brain-robbing disease. Lecanemab is a breakthrough medication that works on removing beta amyloid that collects in the brains of people who are living with dementia. The drug won't completely get rid of the disease, but studies show it has reduced cognitive effect by as much as 27% over an 18-month span. If this medication can give people weeks or months or a year or more of quality of life back that they wouldn't have any other way, then they need to determine if the risks that are posed by this or, or any medication for a serious disease are worth that. One of the risks known with the drug lecanemab is called aria, and it's, a, it's typically a temporary swelling in areas of the brain that will generally resolve themselves over time. The best time to take lecanemab is during the early stages of the disease. Or what's called mild cognitive impairment, which is a precursor to Alzheimer's that sometimes leads, often leads to full-blown dementia. President of the Colorado Alzheimer's Association, Jim Hurley, he gives you two good reasons to look into the drug. A, it's, it's, it's a life-changing therapy and B, the cost is not that significant. The projected cost is not that significant. In the 115 years of the disease, no one has been cured, but lecanemab is a bold step forward in the search for a cure. While the drug is not available for the general public just yet, the Alzheimer's Association has filed an appeal with the Center Medicaid Services to grant approval to pay for the drug for individuals.